The youngest Spitfire pilot to fight in the Battle of Britain, Geoffrey Wellham, has died at the age of 96. Squadron leader Wellham was just 18 when he joined the RAF in August 1939. He went on to win the Distinguished Flying Cross and in 2002 published a best-selling memoir, First Light, which was made into a film by the BBC. John Donison looks back at his life. The British met the challenge by throwing in everything they had. Geoffrey Wellham was still a teenager when he took to the skies in the summer of 1940. An historic three-dimensional battle took place. The Battle of Britain's youngest Spitfire pilot once joked his life had already peaked. It could so easily have been cut short. The whole secret of survival was never to stay still, straight and level, for more than 20 seconds. Part of the prestigious 92 squadron, Geoffrey Wellham battled in terrifying dogfights in the skies above southern Britain against wave after wave of German attacks. I can see it now, 150 plus, with the 109s escorting them above, like a lot of gnats on a summer evening. Winston Churchill famously called the British fighter pilots the few. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. How old are you exactly? Almost 19. I said exactly. 18 years, 9 months. In 2010, the BBC made a film about his life based on his book, First Light. How do you start it again? The real Geoffrey Wellham was a modest man who said he was just doing his duty. We were, after all, young fighter pilots doing a job, which was defending our country against the King's enemies. And with Geoffrey Wellham's passing, of the few, only a handful remain. We don't want medals. We don't want even to be thanked. But it's nice to be remembered because if we're remembered, it covers the whole lot of us, those of us that survived and those that paid the extreme sacrifice. Squadron leader Geoffrey Wellham, who's died at the age of 96.